All right, guys. As you can tell, things are a little different behind me. Got the fuselage barely uh, in here, side to side. There's about maybe a foot on the front and six inches on the back. It is not much room. I've got the whole wing. I'll be able to attach it. Um, I'm still trying to figure out how I'm going to get the fuselage level uh, so I can put the wing on it uh, when I go to do the jury strut. But we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Other than that, I'm working on that step. <clears throat> and what I'm gonna do is, I've already done the top, so I'm gonna do the bottom and I'm gonna glue them all. But I'm also going to link you to um, Brandon did Nix and did a video of it. So I would go watch that one as well, um, just for another advantage. Um, I know Brian really started uh, doing well on his videos when he got to the wings, um, since that's kind of where he started on his kit. There were some things before that, but it was mostly um, uh, getting his kit ready uh, because he bought it free. Some of it was already done. So um, you can go watch Brian's video uh, or Nick's. It's not Kit Fox's video, it's technically on Nick's channel, but I will link both of those down below because you can't have enough information when you're building. So um, what I found is you can take four pictures of something and it's still not enough. You could take another four and you'll get close. <laughs> really uh, having multiple angles of a, a subject is invaluable so like i said uh below will be nick's video as well as brian's when he started this um mine of course will be a little slower uh <clears throat> and weekly so it won't be sorry there's a spider on the wall it's distracting me <laughs> um mine are obviously weekly so it's a little more there's a little more content there of the actual process so so one thing i didn't mention guys um <clears throat> when i got these uh they come uh this is blank and this has laser drilled holes in it uh i had to ream all these uh one at a time and it was actually quite a bit of material that i had to take off um i also had to ream i think both on this spar and one on the other spar. Uh, then you match drill the outer holes. I use a drill press. And then uh, uh, you attach it to the spar with the bolt. And one Clico. Well, you have to match drill the outer hole. Uh, you pilot drill with a 330 seconds and then come in with the... Um, <clears throat> uh, number uh, 30 pretty sure yeah number 30 um, so pilot drill with 330 seconds then finish it with the number 30 um, and then you can Clico this outer one I'm using a uh, Clico clamp as well as uh, one of these clamps just to hold it together um, Probably a little overkill, but uh, with the bolt and the Clico, it shouldn't move. And then Clico as you go, uh, just to be safe. I know there's not a lot of light on this camera, but when I'm drilling these, uh, I'm drilling through the spar as well as this inner doubler, uh, just to make sure the lines, the holes line up.
Tomorrow I'm going to do the number one rib, uh, and I'm probably going to get started on the jury strut, uh, not jury strut, but the struts, strut attach points. Um, I was told to get a 90 degree attachment for the drill, we'll see if I can find one tomorrow, if not I might have to wait on these. Anyway. See you guys tomorrow.